last moments in Uzbekistan and today we're going to Bishkek and from Bishkek we're going to go to the Silicon Valley of Central Asia. I'm so excited to show you and to learn more about it and to tell you stories how business works there, how people live there. I'm so grateful to Uzbekistan for its wonderful people, for its amazing food and for all the amazing experience that I had. So grateful for Uzbekistan. Let's go next. Now it's 6 p.m. We found this minivan and we're going to Bishkek. The road is gonna take 12 hours. We're gonna arrive early in the morning around 5 a.m. It's gonna be a beautiful view. I hope we can still see some mountains with the sunrise. It's gonna be amazing. So for now, let's just enjoy this ride. And this is how our minivan looks like. We already prepared some pillows, some blankets because we're gonna sleep again. Mm -hmm. When you're going to Bishkek from Osh, make sure you get the best, best deal because some people are gonna tell you prices like 3,000, 3,500 when you can get it. Between 1,000 and 1,500. Yeah, but not more than that. Uh, our driver got a flat tire. So we're here on the side of the road waiting already for like 15 minutes for him to come back. He has all our backpacks and stuff. Yes. And I just got a fly in my eye. And it hurts so bad. <laughs> and it's already 6.30. And I really want to already start moving because it takes so much time. All day and we're still not far. Still almost the same place. Driving on this kind of road for the last three hours and I was waiting and waiting. When will we get on the highway? until I realized that this is the highway. The road is very bumpy and not finished. Something is on reconstruction, but it looks like the road never existed here before. So far, this is the worst car ride I ever had. Um, so we took this night bus, sacrificed great views of the mountains so we can take a rest and tomorrow have a productive day. But instead, now it's like 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, we got a flat tire for a second time because he didn't change, he didn't fix it the first time. And also all the way he's listening to the music so loud because he always falls. We stop every like hour or two to eat, to drink, to pee, whatever. And this is just so frustrating. Well, he's driving so dangerous, like so fast, uh, over, taking over <clears throat> the cars at the bridge, at the turn next to the, to nothing, to the, at the top of a mountain. And I just can't listen to that music anymore. I just want to get home and sleep. I'm, I'm so done with this ride. And we asked him like five or six times to lower the music and he keeps listening it's so loud and we're sitting next to the speaker. And that's how the last night was for a reason, he just keeps listening to that very loud, saying he needs to sleep. One day he's taking a job if he wants to sleep. just arrived in Bishkek. Uh, seven hours later than promised, but we arrived. Exhausted and tired, can't wait to get some sleep. And uh, honestly, I wish nobody ever gets a driver like this because he was FaceTiming while driving on a highway. He was watching TikToks, he was listening to music loud. It was like, he was doing everything a driver should never do. So, can't wait to get some rest. This is Gabriel. I just gave him the name. So we stayed one night in Bishkek. Now we're going to do some small groceries and head to Isikul. And now we're on the way in the bus here. But if you want to know the bus schedule, there's one useful app you should know. It's Yandex Maps. It just works here. Now, 
one single bus ride is eight euro cents, which is eight. What's the thing up here? Yes, it's eight, eight som, which is eight, exactly eight euro cents. So we're finally exploring Kyrgyzstan, and now we're in Asia Mall, the biggest mall in Bishkek. And my impression about Kyrgyzstan, it's it's a very nice mix of Russian, Arabic, and Chinese cultures. Yeah, and. It, yeah, it feels very free here. People being able to cuddle and hold hands in public and all big brands. Now we're going to head to Isikul, one of the biggest lakes in the world and must have visit place in Kyrgyzstan, surrounded by amazing mountains and we are going to explore Silicon Valley of Kyrgyzstan. So we took this uh, beautiful cab to the bus station and from the bus station we're gonna take another bus to the Isikul and I hope this is not too late and we still can find something because now it's 3.44. Getting in a bus here is challenging, hectic. Uh, but this is a Mashutka that drives us there. It's around three hours, right? Uh, we're gonna go to an amazing resort in Isikul, uh, co-working space and we're gonna explore that for the next few days. So from Bishkek we just take a Mashutka. It's I don't know, easy, not so easy. It's it's what it is. It's like around three years to get there. And it's very hectic, it's very crowded. The buses go every ten minutes. But the view is amazing, we can see a lot of mountains from the windows. So I created a trip on couch surfing and there was a nice lady who reached out to me and invited me to come to the lake. Today they built a big co-working space in the nature with the mountains, with the beach, with the lake, with the like-minded people around and a lot of activities. They invited me to their, they have a telegram group chat where and the channel where they post all the events that they're having every day like movies, surfing, yoga, dances and, and parties and a lot more so I'm very excited to get there and to explore everything. So yeah, she invited us to come there and offered us a free stay for a week in a business room and we're gonna try their co-workings and I'll show you everything and I'm very excited to meet this wonderful people. We're still on the way to Sikul Lake and the bus has stopped at this beautiful place. All the road has this amazing, beautiful mountains and a beautiful river next to it. Unfortunately, I can't film it because we already got in contact with the resort next to the lake where we're gonna stay and people are already waiting for us. I'm gonna show you the room, gonna show you everything when we arrive. I'm so excited because it's such a unique project and I think it's a future of this country where the great projects are gonna be born to arrive. We expect it to arrive sooner. Now it's already 7 p.m. We're still on the road. There is two more hours to go and can't wait to see the place. It has its private beach. Stop at this amazing endless mountains. It's called Axol on the way to Isikul Lake. Did you know that it's the second largest lake after Caspian Sea? Apparently it's the second largest lake after the Caspian Sea. He didn't know that. But it's a line, not uh, what is Lake water. Victoria? It's about Salty Tea Lake. Actually, Lake Victoria is not salty. But this is the second largest salty lake. And eighth lake in the world. And eighth largest lake in the world. Stop doing this on the camera. This is traditional Kyrgyz habitat. It's called yurta. It's a, it's made of a skin of horse or sheep. It keeps it warm inside. And here they made like a traditional cafe restaurant. Oh, by the way, we are now at the stop in Mashutka. Stop here. Look at this amazing view. And here's a toilet break. So if you want to go to the toilet, it costs ten. It's basically ten euro cents. And I was waiting in the queue, and then accidentally dropped my ten cents. And then a woman heard something falling, so she went to pick it up, opened it in, and just put it in her own pocket, right in front of me. Then I did this. <laughs> did you give it back? Did you love? Okay, we just arrived here in Isikul co-working resort. It's now late in the evening. We started probably a bit too late. But uh, now our first impressions. We arrived, we're gonna explore the evening and the next few days this resort.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and ring the bell to not miss my next adventures. And if you want to support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. See you next Saturday.